Well, it was one of three papers that appeared in Physical Review Letters in the summer and autumn of 1964. And um, at the time, no one paid any attention to these. There was hardly any citations in the first three years. Um, but eventually, it was incorporated into the electroweak theory. It's an important feature in that. That's a theory which was developed by Steven Weinberg in the States and by Abdus Salam at Imperial College. Um, and it, this, um, the Higgs mechanism, so-called, is a, an integral part of that. And that, in turn, is an integral part of the standard model of particle physics, which has been refined over the years and uh, has proved very successful. Well, I don't think I could say that I have progressed it very much uh, since the 60s. Um, um, I mean, at the time, I, I did some further work on the subject, uh, uh, which I published in 1967. Um, but the, um, the key thing was the electroweak theory, the unification of um, electromagnetic and weak interactions which was due to Weinberg and Salam. And there are many stages after that. Um, they uh, believed their theory was consistent, would give finite answers, but that was only proved some years later by uh, um, Gerhard Toft. Um, and um, Salam and Weinberg got their Nobel Prizes in, together with Sheldon Glashow in uh, 1979, I think, and uh, Toft and Veltman got one in 1999. And then there's also the, the, um, the theory of strong interactions, which is uh, in, uh, uh, similar, although it doesn't involve the, the Higgs mechanism. Um, and uh, these together form the, the standard model, which, as I say, has been verified very extensively. Well, I, uh, there's something slightly surreal about um, realizing that something uh, we were involved in nearly 50 years ago is again the center of attention. Um, but it was a very, very interesting uh, development, of course. Um, the, the Higgs boson, which is what they've um, presumably found, um, was not a very important feature initially. Nobody paid much attention to it. Um, but it became important when all the other bits of the standard model had been uh, seen and verified, and it was the last remaining piece of the jigsaw. Uh, so in the last 20 years or so, uh, there's been, people have been very keen to find it. Well, who knows? Uh, there are plenty of uh, outstanding problems. The, the standard model is very successful, but it has a lot of um, features that are not very attractive and things it does not explain. It doesn't tell us about uh, the dark matter and the dark energy in the universe. Um, there are features in it, for example, the neutrinos, which are very, uh, which were thought to be massless, actually do have a small mass, but we have no idea why. And there are a lot of things like the ratios of different particle masses, which are completely unexplained, and we have to find 
some reason for these things. And also, the theory as it stands doesn't include gravity. And that certainly is a, a big issue. <laughs>